Hello friends, it is Danny. Welcome back to another video. Today is the first day of booktube games. And by first day, I mean five hours and 20 minutes before it actually starts. But I figured I would film this part of the video now where I can speak as loudly as I need to because uh, once 12 a.m. hits, chances are everybody in my house aka just me my mom and my cat will be in bed but i will be up reading for at least an hour because why not i figured i would film this intro clip to the booktube games now while there's light and ability to talk let's talk about booktube games what is it when is it happening why is it happening and what am i going to be reading well, Booktube Games is a month-long readathon that Mayana from Little Wolf Reads has created, and it's based off of Disney Channel games, but for Booktube. So basically, if you joined a team, then you're part of the readathon, and your goal is to read as many pages in the month as you can. So I am part of Team Neverland. This is my first vlog, so this is the uh, first vlog of what should be four, I think. So yeah, I'm starting this vlog early. It's 6.41 on the 31st, but like I said, I want to get this part done. Tomorrow at midnight, which is about five and a bit hours now, five and 15 hours, math. Midnight on the 1st, which is very soon-ish, you start reading and you start tracking how many pages you read. And so, I'm excited. The first book I'm going to be starting with is Girls of Paper and Fire. And instead of doing writing like I should be doing leading up to this momentous readathon to try and distract myself but to also like get shit done before I'm just gonna spend a month reading, no, I've decided to watch Tom Holland Makes People Laugh videos because that's what I choose to do with my life and I have no regrets. No regrets. I will see you guys back here at 12 a.m. when the readathon starts. I will be up reading for at least an hour. Oops. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> so as you could see, your girl didn't do any reading last night except for four pages after midnight. It is now almost quarter after eight. And it's like the earliest I've been up in weeks. And uh, I'm ready to get up and start my day, get dressed, find my book, which is in my living room. The plan is to read as much as I can. I say is read as much as I can because I have to go with my mom to an appointment. I'm going to the bookstore. I have all of the time to read in the evening, but like the daytime is where it's gonna be like, uh, will she read, won't she read? I wasn't able to film in the bookstore because one, I forgot, but two, I also was trying to find books, but your girl found three different books, all of which hopefully will get read very soon. Haul to follow once I get home. Hello, hi, how are you doing? It is... I don't know what time. It's like 9 o'clock at night. My cousin Sam was here. My cousin Brandy didn't come because she wasn't feeling well. But I hung out with Sam for the afternoon slash evening and it was nice. I got to see her for the first time in a while. We got to chit chat. So I didn't do any reading while she was here. Now it is time to watch TV shows. And I know, I know it's like, Danny, oh my god, it's a readathon. Why are you watching TV shows? But I made a promise to myself before I did this readathon and I told myself, Look, you're going to read all month, it is fine. There's no set number of pages you have to read per day. So if you don't read too much today, read a lot tomorrow, etc. But don't hold yourself back from like watching the TV shows that you watch all the time because I watch a lot of TV shows with my mom. Kind of like our evening ritual where we watch TV shows that we've recorded. But what I can update you on is I am still reading Girls of Paper and Fire. I started this last night at midnight. Um, for all of like 0 0.2, 0 0.5 seconds. We're like three pages into chapter three, so I'm about 22 pages into this book. And I think when my mom turns on Hell's Kitchen, because I don't, like I care, but I don't really care about that show, I'll probably pick up my book and start reading. 
because uh, I'm actually really enjoying it. Again, not a fantasy reader a lot of the time, but um, I'm finding this kind of actually easy to get through, even though I don't know how to pronounce a lot of things. Day one, 82 pages. Longer than I thought I would read, more than I thought I would read. So I was thinking maybe putting this on my phone might be a fitting phone case for the month. Can't have enough Team Neverland spirit, huh? Hello, hi, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, what is this hair? It is Saturday, February 2nd, so day two, and I am just waking up. It is 10.40. Well, I'm not just waking up. I woke up at like 9.45, but I'm getting out of bed for the first time now. Come here. Hi. This is Indy. She's telling me to get up and read, Mom. <laughs> Go. Thank you for that. Another kind of busy day of like, maybe not reading as much as I actually want to, but still going to try and read like 80 to 100 pages to at least contribute to my team's goal. And while I'm in the shower, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my, I'm ha like halfway, three quarters through an audiobook, unless it's unless it has to be sent back in which case um I will have to re-download it whoops I'm gonna put that on whilst I'm in the shower so I can listen to Neil Patrick Harris read me his book so I just finished an audiobook I finished Neil Patrick Harris's book that I've been reading for five ever this guy showed up to to steal me away are you stealing me away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I forgot to haul my books yesterday that I got at Chapters. Original plan was to go and get graphic novels so that I had short books this month so that I could read them and get through them really quick. And that didn't happen because they have jack crap at this new freaking Chapters. I hate it. I hate it. They made it so small. We had a big Chapters. It was like the size of my house. And then... Now they have a little tiny shit box in the corner of the mall and I hate it. So what I managed to find was two rom com -y new adult -y books, which is very me, and then a book that I've been meaning to get because the movie's coming out and I didn't know it was a book and now it's a book or was a book and then got the movie based off of it. The first book that I got is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne and it's a staff pick and everything. I know it's an office romance, I know it's new adult, I know there's going to be some hate to love here, it's going to be cute, it's going to be like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me. Then, I also got Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren, because I love Christina Lauren, and I keep hearing Whitney rave about this book when she first read it, and I also loved other books by them and so I wanted to give it a go because I haven't read a new adult by them ever I don't think the only thing I've ever read by them is autobiography but I also want to take some books out of the library by them because they have audiobooks and ebooks by them so gonna do that but the other book that I got was like <laughs> one of the only ones I didn't realize I was gonna get and I'm really sad that it cost me $25 for a hardcover now because Canada sucks. It sucks. But I got Five Feet Apart by people. Rachel Lippincott, Mickey Daughtery, Daughtery, yep, words. And Tobias, oh god, no. That word. That word. It's about two people, I'm telling Tyler as I'm talking to you, but it's about two people who have cystic fibrosis, like the guy and the girl. Yeah, and so, like, it's basically going to be the fault in our stars with Cole Sprouse, and they can't be together because they can't be five feet close to each other because if people with CF are near each other, they can catch each other's bacteria and then they die. Unless they get, like, lung transplants. Would Very excited to have that one. It is probably the shortest book that I bought. It's very short. What are you talking about? I didn't just convince him to go to the library. Whoops! I love you, you're the bestest! How many graphic novels am I getting? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Today just keeps getting better and better. I got books from the library, and we just bought a whole bunch of snacks for tonight to hang out with his fam. And in between all of these pit stops I've been reading, 
My hero! Hello, hi, how are you doing? It is day three. I have not updated today, I don't think, apart from like the clip video thing of Tyler building a thing for me. I am home now. I have not done a lot of reading. I think I've read about 25 pages, which isn't bad considering I've had so much going on today, but it's not good. I'm going to tell you the eight library books, graphic novels, that I got from the library. I am going to show you the thing that Tyler was building. So now I'm gonna show you the eight books that I got at the library. So ignore this awful angle, but this is what we're working with. These are the eight books that I picked up at the library. I'm not gonna give synopses because I don't know what some of them are about fully. I did a lot of like Goodreads skim reads. So like if I'm not a fan of them, I'll probably just not read them and return them. Moonstruck by Grace Ellis and Shay Beagle. Part-Time Princesses by Monica Gallagher. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. I just wish graphic novels would actually number their pages. That's the one thing that really pisses me off that they don't do. I have Life Sucks by Jessica Abel, Gabe Soria, and Warren Police. I have Page by Page by Laura Lee, G oh goodness, Gilg, Gillage, Gillage. My nose is already so itchy from touching these books because I am allergic to 17 types of dust. Next I have Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Giant Days. I was so excited to find these, I didn't realize my library had them, I've been wanting to read Giant Days for a while, um, and I just happened to find the first two volumes while I was at the library, so I was really excited. They were like some of the first that I found, so I think I'm going to be reading those very soon. Light by Nathan Edmonston and Brett Weldell, or Weldy, Lil, yeah, words. I've been talking about getting one of these for forever, and I just never got around to getting one, but then I saw one on sale, and though it is not the one that I actually got, I really like this one better, so it's great. This right here is my new bullet journal organizer stand. It's beautiful, and it's the colors of the rainbow, so I'm going to go over here and get that bucket of bullet journal supplies and I'm going to organize it in here and maybe if you're interested I could do a bullet journal supplies cupboard tour if that's something people are interested in. The book that I read I'm going to start with that one first is uh, Choose Your Own Autobiography by Neil Patrick Harris. I really enjoyed it. I started it before booktube games but I needed to finish it because it was going to expire on overdrive and I didn't want it to expire and then it did expire and then I re-downloaded it just so I could finish listening to it because I waited the entire book to hear about his How I Met Your Mother experiences and how his life ended up with David and the twins and I love Neil Patrick Harris so much and like I knew him before How I Met Your Mother. I feel like with the audiobook I kind of lost a little bit of the funniness and the way it was formatted and I feel like that happens a lot with autobiographies and especially his because it was like you kind of missed out on the like if you want to read this flip to this if you want to read that flip to that and it was like in the audiobook it's like if you want to read this keep listening if you want to read this wait a little bit i'm like mm, that doesn't feel the same i don't know if the fact that i'm not a fantasy person is part of the reason why i'm i'm not struggling i'm just taking my time reading this book and I find that sometimes my eyes will glaze over and sometimes I will skim read just because, again, not a fantasy person, don't need in-depth descriptions of a tree and the houses and the mats and the, like just things like that that like some people enjoy reading and I'm just like, I don't care what they look like, just tell me what happens to the characters. I'm very character driven and not setting and plot driven at all. So I think that's part of my slow go with this book. On top of that, I've been like, every time a girl pops into to the chat, 
chat being the plot, I'm like, oh, is this the girl she's gonna fall in love with? Is this the girl she's gonna fall in love with? Because, like, that's all I'm really waiting for is to find out who, and now I realize who she's gonna fall in love with. It's obvious now. So it's almost 1.30 now. I managed to read to page one, 183. Um, so my total for yesterday was only 59 pages, which isn't bad. That's not great considering I had a 200 and something page day of the day before. My goal for today, the, the 4th of February, to read as much as I can. I've got nothing to do, so I've got all day to read. Good morning, good morning. I am awake. I've been awake since about 9 and I'm awake now and I am working on my crochet project while also listening to an audiobook. So I have put long, uh, long Way Down by Jason Reynolds on. I didn't know it was read by him because I didn't look at the cover until now. But it's cool that it's read by him. So I'm listening to that and I'm working on my crochet project and I will continue reading Girls of Paper and Fire. So it's quarter to four in the morning and I'm just getting into bed now. Um, I didn't do much reading leading up to midnight once I got home. I spent a lot of time working on my crochet project while also watching the TV shows that I watch with my mom. I read 304 pages yesterday, um, and most of that consisted of reading Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, or, well, listening to it while working on my crochet project. And now my update is that it is 348. And I just finished that book. It was really good. It is about a kid whose brother just got murdered and he's decided to go kill the guy that he thinks killed his brother. Like the entire story takes place in an elevator over the course of like one minute. Uh, it's written in verse and as he's riding the eight floors down to the ground floor of his apartment building to go kill said guy, he ends up stopping on each floor and each time he stops on a floor a new person comes into the elevator but each person that comes into the elevator is somebody he knows who is already dead. Really interesting but the ending I wish it didn't end that way because it left on a cliffhanger and it's like will he won't he we don't really know. Oh hello friends I am up it is 11 14 I have been up since I think nine. I have filled out my bullet journal for yesterday and part of today because I've already done some reading. I am editing this vlog. I'm about to get some food. It's currently cooking in my kitchen. Um, and then I think around noon, 12, I'll probably get off of the computer for a bit and pick up Girls of Paper and Fire. I have 100 pages left. I'm going to finish it because the girl wants those extra pages. And then I guess we'll see what I read next. Update, new decision. Not feeling 100% because <laughs> autoimmune disease is flaring. Love that for me. So if you can't already hear it over that way, I am drawing a bath and I'm going to read in there because hopefully that will make me feel better. Excuse me, what the what was that ending? What was that ending? I don't know. I just finished Girls of Paper and Fire. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling yet. Now I can go update my page count. And so I will update the last like 100 or so pages that I had to read. Plus the extra 400 pages for finishing the book. So it's my birthday. I have to talk really loud because I'm drawing another bath. Uh, I have been taking advantage of being able to have baths because with the pickle I know, I don't have to worry about having a bath because I couldn't have one before. I have finished Girls with Paper and Fire yesterday. I have finished Long Way Down. I have nothing on the go right now. I'm going to pick up volumes one and two of Giant Days and then I guess I'll start an audiobook or I'll start a longer book but I want like a transition where I'm reading shorter books so I'm reading more in terms of like physical books if that makes any sense. My cousin's coming over in a little bit she's getting her hair done and she's probably gonna hang out because it's my birthday but um for right now I'm gonna have that bath and then I'll update you later. Her hair at least first. Well her hair looks fine. 
fine. She's brushing out her newly dyed hair, but look who came to visit me on Are my birthday. Are you videotaping me now? Yeah! Hi, friends! Hi, friends! <laughs> and then there's Mom. <laughs> Hi, friends! There you go. Hello, it is the last day of vlog one in this readathon vlogs read giant days volume one and giant days volume two i didn't end up vlogging after um i think my last clip was of brandy i never vlogged after that and i was cool with that i did fill in my booktube games spread so that's what it looks like now i don't think i'm ever going to live up to day five again because you know it's fine day five was just where i got 400 bonus pages for the group read book also updated all of the books that i've read thus far and i didn't realize it until now that i've read five books in six seven days good morning good morning it is the seventh again uh it hasn't changed but i'm finally awake I slept until like 11 today, which is the latest I've slept in in a while, which was nice. Um, I got up and I got some food and I've just been listening to my musical playlist and also Dodie. Uh, and it's been nice, but I am ready to get going and start reading. And yes, that is a TARDIS in the background. My mom has gone to work. She'll be home around six. I am going to make some cinnamon buns because I'm craving something sweet, like me. <laughs> my books are right there, so I am going to grab those. I'm gonna go in my room and lay on my bed. Uh, I promise not to sleep, because I'm not tired, but my bed is more comfortable, and also just like, it's a room with books in it, so it makes it more cozy and comfy and things like that. So, I'm going to do all of that, and I will update you once I've started reading. So I haven't actually started reading yet, because I literally just got on my bed, but I'm gonna start reading five feet apart. I'm not feeling that right this second. I'm gonna start reading Moonstruck. Hello friends. I just finished reading this book, which is Moonstruck Volume 1, Magic to Brew. Basically, this book, in short, is about these two girls. One is Selena, or Selena, and one is Julie, and they're both werewolves, and they live in a world where, like, people are magic, and they're, like, different species of magical creatures and mythical people. And they end up going on a first date that they end up inviting their friend Chet to, and Chet ends up losing their centaur body due to a magician who steals it, and then they have to basically try and figure out who this magician is and how to get Chet's butt back. I didn't hate it. I don't know. I think after Giant Days, I'm just, I've got high, Giant Days and Saga have given me high expectations for graphic novels, and this was just like a, oh, it was okay. Um, so I gave it three stars. Now I am going to pick up Five Feet Apart, because I've been procrastinating doing that. Uh, I don't know how many pages are in that book. I'll check on Goodreads, update my bullet journal and the spreadsheet later, and uh, then we'll see how far I get into this. All right, friends, it is officially midnight on the 8th, which means this is the end of vlog one. Day seven's page count is 326. 120 of those was reading Moonstruck volume one, and 206 of those was reading um, Five Feet Apart, and I am very close to finishing Five Feet Apart. I think I have about 80 pages left, and that's it. I'm getting nervous. Everything is too good to be true right now. And I'm just like, ugh, something bad is gonna happen. I can just tell. So I am going to end this vlog here. I guess you'll have to watch vlog two to find out whether or not I finish it before I fall asleep. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this very long reading vlog. I hope you're ready for three more. I will see you guys in my next reading vlog whenever that comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Happy reading and writing, friends. Darling, it's a good day